hi there students welcome back again to another video lesson for grade 10 mathematics quarter 4 so so tapos na tayo sa interpretation of measures of position so we're in kasama pa rin naman dito sa ating lesson yon yung interpretation so two weeks po yung ating lesson for uh, this learning competency so week 4 and 5 so yung week 4 nakalaan for and group data. And then, yung week 5 naman for group data. So, ang ginawa ko, pinagsama ko na lang sila. So, dito sa video lesson na to, meron tayong and group data and group data. So, kung ano yung mga diniscuss natin dun sa group and and group data, so, ganun pa rin naman. So, i-apply lang natin sila using uh, real-life word problems. So, for the lesson objective, we will solve problems involving measures of position again with interpretation so it is a must that we need to interpret our results yung mga results na nakukuha natin para at least nagiging aware tayo dun sa mga sinod natin so hindi lang basta-basta sinasolve natin what is uh, the third decile so kailangan ini-interpret din natin anong meron dun sa result na nakuha natin sa third decile so let's start so let's have problem number one. So the data below are the final grade of 16 grade 10 students in mathematics. So yan po yung mga final grades. Okay, so from first to fourth quarter. So kinuha po yung average para makuha yung final grade. Okay, so ayan po yung ating mga uh, data. So we're in yung 75 yung, yung lowest final grade and then 96 is the highest final grade so the question is 40 percent of the students is lower than what general average okay so 40 percent okay so kung 40 percent yan pwede natin gamitin yung deciles o kaya naman percentile okay so kung decile siya that is d sub 4 and d sub 4 is always equal to p sub 40, yung 40th percentile. So, gamitin na lang po natin is d sub 4. So, gagamitin natin dito is yung Mendenhall and Sinsich method. Okay, so d sub, d sub k, that is equal to k over 10 times the quantity of n plus 1. So, we're looking for d sub 4. So, k Dito is 4, then over 10, and then n is 16. So, kasi 16 grade 10 students, kaya n is equal to 16. Next. So, 4 over 10 times 16 plus 1, that is 17. So, multiply natin. So, 4 times 17, that is 68 over 10 or pwede rin namang i-simplify natin yung 4 over 10 as 2 fifth. Okay. So either way makukuha naman natin yung sagot. And then 68 divided by 10 will get 6.8. Ito yung location ng d sub 4. So since Mendenhall and Sinsich method, d sub 4 will become 7. So, kailangan natin siyang i-round up. So, looking at the data, the seventh uh, data is the value of decile 4. So, 75, 77, 78, 80, 80, 81, and 83. So, yung pampito sa data natin is 83. Therefore, d sub 4 is 83. So, how are we going to interpret the result? So, since the question is 40% of the students is lower than what general average? So, yung sagot natin dito is 83. So, ibig sabihin, 40% of the students' final grade in mathematics is uh, less than or equal to 83. So, sulat natin siya. So, therefore... The students
So, 40%. Therefore, 40% of the students' final grade in mathematics is less than or equal to 83. So, next, what general average is at the upper quartile? So, upper quartile, so, that is Q sub 3. So, we're looking for the 75%. Okay, so, gamitin natin Q sub K is equal to K over 4 kasi quartile siya times the quantity of n plus 1 so q sub 3 so pag upper q sub 3 pag lower q sub 1 so k is 3 over 4 times n that is 16 plus 1 so q sub 3 that is 3 fourth times 16 plus 1 that is 17 now uh 3 times 17, that is 51. And then, i-divide natin yung 51 by 4. We'll get 12.75. So, since upper quartile siya, so we need to round down. So, 12.75 will become 12. So, yung pang 12 sa data natin, yun po yung value ng uh, Q sub 3. Yun yung general average at the, at the upper quartile. So, yung pang 12 na data natin is 91. So, ibig sabihin, Q sub 3 is equal to 91. So, paano natin yun i-interpret? So, therefore, 75% of the students' final grade in mathematics is less than or equal to 91. Okay. So, for number 3, so we have, using linear interpolation, what final grade is at the 90th percentile? So, dito, uh, linear interpolation naman ang ating gagamitin method. Okay. So, exact value ang ating hinahanap. So, una muna, kunin natin yung uh, location, the exact location of P sub 90. So, that is P sub K is equal to K over 100 times the quantity of N plus 1. So, P sub 90 is equal to 90 over 100 times the quantity of 16 plus 1. So, yung 90 over 100, pwede natin siyang isimplify as 9 over 10. Kasi, phi sub 90 is equal to D sub 9. So, magiging 9 over 10 times 16 plus 1, that is 17. Nine times 17, that is 153 over 10. So, dividing 153 by 10 will get 15.3. So, exact location ng P sub 90 is 15.3, 15.3. Okay, so, paano natin i-apply ang linear interpolation? So, yung step natin, step number 1, so, uh, kunin natin yung location kung nasaan yung 15.3. Nasa pagitan siya ng anong data. So, yung 15.3, nasa pagitan po siya ng 15th and 16th data. Nasa pagitan po siya ng 95 and 96. So, yung first step natin, 
96 minus 95. Pag-subtract natin yun. That is 1. Then the second step, i-multiply natin yung decimal part dun sa nakuha nating difference sa step 1. So that is 1 times yung decimal part ng 15.3 is 0.3. Kaya 1 times 0.3 is 0.3. And next, number 3. So, yung smaller data dun sa 15th and 16th, which is 95, yung pang 15. So, i-add lang po natin yung nakuha natin na products dun sa step 2, which is 0.3. So, that will become 95 plus 0.3. So, the exact value of P sub 90 is 95.3. So, kung interpret lang natin yan, that will be uh, 90% of the student's final grade in mathematics is less than or, e less than or equal to 95.3. So, we'll now move on to group data. So, dito, makikita nyo na yung frequency distribution table. So, kung hindi nyo pa alam yung process nung pag-construct ng frequency distribution table, so meron po tayong uh, video lesson dyan. So, the table below shows the monthly electricity bill of 40 households of Barangay San Luis. So, we're talking about electric bill, electricity bill. So, ayan po yung uh, table natin. Okay, so as you can see on the first column, yan yung monthly bill natin, expressed in pesos po yan. Okay, so and then frequency on the second column, and then LB, that is lower boundary. So in order to get the lower boundary, we we'll just need to subtract 0.5 for on the lower limit of every class. So yung mga nasa left, and then yung mga nasa right, yun naman yung mga upper limit kung upper boundary ang kinukuha. Next, less than cumulative frequency. So, in order to determine the less than cumulative frequency column, so, mag add lang po tayo pataas from the lower class. So, dito sa 500 to 99, 999, ang frequency niya is 2. Kaya, kukunin natin yung frequency na 2 and then, i-add natin sa kanya yung frequency ng susunod na class which is 5. Kaya naging 7 and then pataas hanggang mapunta tayo sa pinaka itaas dun sa frequency na 4,000 to 4,499 which is 3. As you can see, 37 plus 3, ang nakuha nating sagot is 40. So, cumulative frequency, ina-add natin yung mga frequency. Kailangan total po yan sa n natin. So, 40 dapat is equal to 40. So, for our uh, first question, so, find the monthly bill of the households who belongs on the first quartile. Okay, so, hahanapin daw natin yung monthly bill ng mga household na nandoon sa first quartile, yung 25%. Okay. So, ayan ang ating formula. ba? Diba? So, kunan muna natin dito yung Q sub 1 class. Okay. So, para makuha natin Q sub 1 class. So, yung K, mumultiply natin sa N, divide natin sa 4. Okay. Ito. K N over 4. So, yung K natin is 1 times N, which is 40. And then, over 4. So, 1 times 40, that is 40. Okay. Over 4, that is 10. Okay. So, yung Q sub 1 natin, ang, ang position niya is 10. Yung pang 10th na uh, data. Okay. So, looking at the less, less than cumulative frequency column, yung Q sub 1 class ay nandito po sa 1,500 to 1,999. So, bakit siya nandiyan? Okay, because uh, dyan po nakapaloob yung 10th data natin. Kasi hindi pwede yung 
hindi rin pwede yung 7. Okay, so, 7, kulang pa tayo ng tatlo. So, saan tayo pupunta? Siyempre, sa kasunod na class. Next. Pwede na nating i-apply sa formula. So, Q sub 1 is equal to LB. So, ano yung lower boundary natin dito? So, since nakuha na natin yung Q sub 1 class, which is, ayan, yung nasa 1,500 to 1,999 class. Okay, so yung lower boundary nun, ayan, ito po siya. 1,499.5 plus ayan so yung nakuha natin position kanina is 10 minus CFB so yan po yung cumulative frequency before the Q sub 1 class and which is 7 yung next low yung mas mababa dun sa 14 or mababa sa 10 which is 7. And then, yung frequency ng quartile 1 class natin is 7. And then, yung class interval natin, ayan, kitang-kita naman po sa ating table is 500. Next. 1,499.5 plus, so, 1, uh, 10 minus 7, that is 3. Over 7, times 500. So, next, yung 3, divide lang natin sa 7. So, kapag dinivide natin yung 3 by 7, ang makukuha nating result is approximately 0 0.43. And then, multiply natin yun sa 500. So, 0 0.43 times 500 will get 215. So, magiging ganito siya. Q sub 1 is equal to 1,499.5 plus 215. So, yung Q sub 1 natin, ang value niya is 1,000. 714.5 So, malalaman natin ang indication minsan na tama ang sagot natin kapag yung value na nakuha natin is nakapa, nakapaloob dun sa particular class na yon. So, yung 1714.5 pasok po siya sa 1500 to 1999 So, for our interpretation so, therefore, 25% of the household's monthly electricity bill is less than or equal to 1,714 pesos and 50 centavos. So, ayan. So, 25% ng mga household na yan, pababa, ang kanilang electricity bill ay ganyan. 1,714 pesos and 50 centavos. So, next naman tayo. So, find the monthly bill of the households who belongs on the 70th percentile. So, same pa rin naman yung ating given. So, yung ating formula. So, syempre gagamitin natin is yung formula for per percentile of group data. So, kailangan natin kunin yung uh, location ng 70th percentile. Yung uh, 70th uh, P sub 70 class. So, that is KN over 100. So, K is 70. And then, N is 40 all over 100. So, if we're going to multiply 70 by 40, ang product na makukuha natin is 2,800. And then, divide by 100, will get 28. So, P sub 70 class, yung kanyang location is yung pang 28 na score. Okay, so 28. So, nasaan po yun? Nandito po siya sa 2,500 to 2,999 na class. Okay, so yan po yung ating P sub 70. Now, let us uh, apply the formula. 
So, P sub 70. So, the lower boundary here is 2,499.5. Kasi nandun yung ating P sub 70 class. So, yung KN over 100 natin is 28. Minus less than cumulative frequency before the P sub 70 class. And that is 18. Over the frequency of P sub 70 class, where P sub, P sub 70 class belong, is 12. And then the class interval is 500. Next. 28 minus 18, that is 10. Over 12 times 500. Okay, next. 10 over 12. So, divide natin. 10 divided by 12. The result is 0 0.833. Yung 3 repeating siya. So, 0 0.83 na lang. Times 500. So, kapag minultiply na multiply natin 0 0.83 by 500, we'll get 415. Okay. Next. Add natin sa 2,499.5. Ang makukuha nating sagot is 2,914.5. So, yan po yung value ng P sub 70. So, 2,914 pesos and 50 centavos. So, for our interpretation, so since 70th percentile na yan, syempre, yung uh, electricity bill natin, syempre, is mas mataas dun sa Q sub 1, yung first quartal kanina. So, that is... 70% of the household's monthly electricity bill is less than or equal to 2,914 pesos and 50 centavos. So, sabi ko nga, mas mataas na yan kasi nasa 70th percentile na ang kinukuha natin. So, if we're looking for the ninth decile, syempre, mas mataas pa rin sa nakuha natin na yan. Maaring 3,000 pataas na yan. So, for our next lesson, so again, in next video lesson natin, uh, good din po siya for 2 weeks. So, week 5, ay week 6 and 7. So, ang pag-uusapan naman po natin is how to formulate a statistical mini-research. So, one of the highlights of measure supposition is uh, formulating and conducting statistical mini-research. So, paano natin if formulate iko conduct ang statistical mini research ngayong may pandemic so i-discuss ko po lahat ng mga important terms regarding research paano nag paano ang research ano ang ibig sabihin ng research ano na yung methods in conducting research at marami pang iba so yun lang maraming salamat